As the sun rises, business starts brewing at Jake's Diner in Greensboro. But every Tuesday, there's a full pot of coffee waiting. You gonna make it? Until right at 9 a.m. when this man walks in the door. I was getting countdown with you. You got, you got two minutes to go. I look forward to every Tuesday because if I don't see him, I know that there's something wrong. Jackie Joyce takes his seat in the back booth. I've never missed a Tuesday, I don't think. For nine years, Joyce has come to Jake's Diner for breakfast. Most of those years, his friend Mike Nunn joining him, and sometimes there are others. He always gets the same thing, his scrambled eggs, bacon, applesauce, and dry white toast. It's new with this coffee. It's better than usual. I know, better than usual. After all these years, waitress Crystal knows the orders by heart and keeps the coffee coming. He's, he's a real good guy, he's real sweet, um, never has a dull moment. He always fills me in with his stories and everything. Stories shared around this diamond shaped table, much like the diamond they once called home at Smith High School. See, back then, Joyce was known as coach to none. But he said, I put down I wanted to play third base. And he told me, he said, you either catch or you don't play at all. Good advice, considering none was drafted into the MLB by the California Angels in the first round. He was the ninth pick overall, right out of high school. None attributes that to Joyce's coaching. I played six years of pro ball, and uh, he's probably one of the best coaches I've ever had. Back in the 60s, everyone wanted to play for Coach Joyce, especially after leading his teams to two state titles. But 30 years later, it's not the stats or the championship games Coach Joyce and some of his former players talk about around the table. It's the memories they've made off the field. Just to be able to sit here and talk to him about things, of uh, good things, bad things. Uh, he's sort of like a second dad to me in a way. Nunn says after he retired, Coach Joyce invited him for breakfast on a Tuesday at 9 o'clock. Seven years later, same waitress, same coffee, same camaraderie. Because not every coach would do this years later. No. Why, why did you do it? Why do you that's, think it's so important? That's the way I came up. His roots on a farm in Rockingham County. His favorite pastime? football and baseball. If you come upon a farm, you don't have a whole lot other than sports that you can go to, you know, that uh, you can identify with, I guess. After high school, Joyce joined the Air Force with a dream of working in aeronautics, but life threw a curveball. Instead of launching space shuttles, he began launching careers in baseball and football. I've been real fortunate to have be around good players. Players that would now like to see him end up in the North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame. Joyce <laughs>, laughs off the idea. He says the game was never about the wins. It was the relationships that he still holds dear and likes to cherish over a cup of coffee. All your life is just keep on keeping on. Every Tuesday morning.